Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Carroll and this is my uh, video for the Professional Counseling Skills uh, Discussion Board vlog post. Uh, once again, I do apologize for my voice and try not to cough. Um, just getting over COVID and bronchitis. Um, so I'm just, I'm trying my best <laughs> um, to, to not cough. Um, but getting straight into it, uh, the two videos, uh, well, the two counselors. Um, you know, being honest, it's, it, it, the first one was nothing like what I consider counseling sessions to be, um, especially the first one. Um, it's actually kind of hard to really get like the flow. It's hard to recreate a genuine counseling session. Um, I've been in therapy and I'm sure most of you, well, I'm sure multiple of you I've also been in therapy, if not, you know, been a part of the counselor in counseling or therapy yourself. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's hard to cre recreate that in video format without it sounding forced or rehearsed. Um, and with that being said, there is an article um, by Bennett Levy um, called Why Therapists Should Walk the Talk, which I think is uh, just completely appropriate. Um, and the article talks about um, that the personal and interpersonal qualities of a therapist play an important role in determining the outcome, uh, the, the in, in determining client outcomes, and that is a quote. Um, and that's important because the the first session um, had they had both of them had good body language, um, you know, the head nods, the mm -hmm. um, however, in the first session, it just really felt very intense, very forced, if you would. Um, it just, it, it messed with the flow a little bit, if you ask me. Um, the second session, Dr. Um, Dr. Tackett's, I believe, um, his had much better flow. Um, he the, his reaffirming, his paraphrasing, um, you know, his talking to her, the, it just seemed to flow better a lot more than the first one. Um, and for, you know, that particular reason, I personally would say that I would rather have Dr. Tackett's. Um, he, one of the, okay, one of the biggest things for me <clears throat> in therapy, in my therapy that I've done, um, setting goals is extremely important to me, and that is something that Dr. Tackett's did, um, was set goals with, I believe, Mariah or Stephanie, I'm sorry. Um, but he set goals, and they were obtainable goals, um, and I do really well with setting goals, um, you know, to help me see progress and stuff like that. So, uh, for that reason, I would definitely prefer Dr. Tackett's. His demeanor, um, the way that he was just would flow a lot better with me personally. Um, there's another article uh, by Somers in Flanagan called Counseling and Psychotherapy Theories and Contacts and Practice. Um, and I chose this because it talks about constructive theory and constructive theory is actually one that I've come to like over the past couple of weeks. Um, and constructive theory focuses on what is going on in the mind um, the brain of someone. It focuses on the big question like, why? Why did you do this? Or why did this happen? Why did you let this happen? And I and I hate to say things like that because there are certain things that people don't let happen. But, you know, like, why Why did this happen? Why did you do that? Why did you say this? And it's not as, like, accusatory as maybe that sounds. Um, but it is about personal accountability um, and, like, figuring out what is going on uh, constructively. So I really like that he did incorporate some constructive theory in there. Uh, personally, it's just a favorite of mine right now, uh, but his tactics just really worked more for me. So I'm going to say that I would prefer Dr. Tackett's. Um, yes. Thank you. I hope everyone has a wonderful day.